Okay, so today I'm here to talk to you about something that's really prevalent in our society. It's a very, actually, terrifying thing that's become a uh, very normal type of conversation, uh, and that's rape culture. I'm obviously not up here to persuade you people not to rape because we all know that that's wrong already. What I'm here to do is help you identify what rape culture is exactly and so that you don't perpetuate it. So first things first, what is rape culture? Rape culture is a complex set of beliefs that encourage male sexual aggression and supports violence against women. It's a society where violence is seen as sexy. In rape culture, both men and women assume that sexual violence is a fact of life or inevitable. Um, you know, with uh, the popularity of Fifty Shades of Grey and things like that, uh, sexual violence against women is commonplace. It's becoming a norm or even a turn on for people. Um, and that kind of drew me to this, this topic, but the main thing that drew me to it was um, <clears throat> a couple of years ago I read a news article about an 11 year old girl that was gang raped, I think by six men between the ages of 19 and 26. Am I gonna cry up here again? Oh my God. So in the news article, they were interviewing people in her town. And damn it, <laughs> the people were saying things like, well, you know, she dressed a lot older for her age. And you know, she hung around with, with older kids. And I was so blown away that these people were blaming a, a child for something so horrific to happen to her. It was, it was shocking. But these things happen very commonly. Um, one of the main ones is, this is a hit song. This isn't something that just like was off some unknown album where Rick Ross says, I put Molly all in her champagne. She didn't even know it. I took her home and I enjoyed that. She didn't even know it. This is stuff that was played on the radio, like a hit in the clubs, all that stuff. And I heard it so many times that I didn't realize what he was saying. And then one time I heard it and I was like, wait, what? I had to take it back. And I was like, that's disgusting. Who would let tell them it's okay to put that in a song? It's disgusting. There's, you know, a sexual assault prevention programs where women are taught how to protect themselves from getting raped instead of men being taught not to rape. And the fact that 97% of rapists will never spend a day in jail, it's a pretty shocking statistic um, considering one in five women are raped. There was a teacher that uh, raped a 14-year-old student and I think he was given uh, 50 days in jail because the judge decided that she was more mature for her age and she ended up killing herself. So the most important thing is how do we combat this? There's a list of things we can do. We can speak out if you hear someone making a tasteless joke about rape or trivializing rape. Um, if a friend has said they've been raped, be supportive. Think critically about what the media is telling you, what messages it's sending about men, women, relationships, and sex and violence. Um, let survivors know that it's not their fault. That's a big one. Uh, hold abusers accountable. Many people make excuses, either blaming the victim or, you know, the, you know, the women, she was dressed provocatively, she drank too much. No. You raped. They're accountable for their actions. And always communicate uh, for consent. It's always important and be an active bystander. If you see something, say something, right? This image um, I saw many years ago and I had to save it and it was just amazing for me. There's so many politicians and people in the media who have a platform to a large audience and again, they feed those lies that she was drinking too much, she was asking for it because she was dressed a certain way. And someone said, um, but then again, it's like kind of like putting meat on a, a meat suit on and telling a shark not to eat you. And someone responded saying, we talk about men and women, are not sharks. We're not rabid animals living off of pure instinct. We're capable of rational thinking and understanding. Just because someone is cooking food doesn't mean you're entitled to eat it. Just because a banker is counting money doesn't mean you're being given free money. Just because a person is naked doesn't mean you're entitled to fuck them. You're not entitled to someone else's body just because it's exposed. What's so difficult about this concept? Really, it's not a difficult concept. So. This presentation was to make you aware that rape culture is something that's seeping in and is so commonplace. I want you to be aware of it and not perpetuate it.